love using this fountain pen, really. It's smooth on writing, on drawing. I just love it. The ink I'm using is this one. Good ink. Very dark, as you can see. So I'm using here another three by three piece of cardstock, inches, you know, obviously, piece of cardstock. And I am doing circles, big, small, tiny, extra tiny. I'm just, I'm just going to be filling the whole piece with circles. Just circles. Hmm. Lots of circles. It doesn't matter where you put the circles, as long as you keep adding circles around it, inside of it everywhere and you have to try to make circles all the circles different you know in size Another thing I love about this pen is that you can see how much ink you have left. And sometimes it's fun when you just move it around and you see the ink moving. I love that. And it's a fine writing instrument, fine drawing instrument. I love it. Keep adding circles. Obviously, if it were a bigger piece of paper, I'd probably end up doing this during the whole day. You know, just taking breaks every now and then to do other stuff around the house. Taking care of my lovebirds. Checking my cat, Gatu. Gatu, which is <coughs> short for Gatubelita, which is her name. Just keep adding circles to your page or to your small piece of paper. I prefer a small piece of paper because I can actually just practice, you know, and you can get lots of ideas by just doing this, you know, like a practice and you can keep this as a record of some sort in a portfolio or something like that if you ever want to come back to it and do a bigger piece with this uh, circle bits <coughs> all around and obviously if you're someone who likes to dare yourself in art you know, do interesting things <coughs> every time you get 
Maybe you can try and use these circles and this kind of technique of making huge circles, little circles, tiny circles and such and try and make a face and try to create something figurative out of abstraction. That's like a nice exercise, I think. Okay. You just keep adding circles, you go crazy with it, you know, you just add circles all over. It's an exercise. It's an exercise that you can do if you're feeling like you don't know what to draw. And even if you want to write something, you don't know what to write about, just, you know, sometimes doing something like this, that you're not thinking about it, you're just doing it, it's just the action, the movement of the hand, it actually helps. So, this is my little exercise number two, drawing circles. <coughs> and of course, once you finish filling the whole paper with circles, you begin doing this to some of the little gaps in between circles, you know. Feel some of those little gaps. The ones that you feel like feeling, or you can feel circles, whatever you feel like. You know, there's no limit to what you can do. You set your own limits in art and in writing, you know. When you decide to write something. When you decide to create something, it's you. You're the master right there. So, just do this, like so. There you go. Just keep doing that. Keep feeling some of the spaces in between with dark ink. Keep adding circles if you like. And at the end, it's a very interesting exercise. If you're feeling stuck, you don't know what to do, this can help you. Go ahead, do it. Obviously you can visit my fan page and you're probably gonna see a picture of this finish. So, enjoy.